Imagine a place so remote, it takes 24 hours by boat just to reach its shores. A place where only 48 people live, cut off from the rest of the world. In this video, we're going to explore 10 astonishing facts about the most isolated community on Earth. Pitcairn Island is a world frozen in time that will challenge everything you thought you knew about modern life. From unexpected opportunities to a complex history, this tiny speck in the Pacific Ocean holds secrets that will leave you questioning the very nature of society and survival. A love paradise with dark undertones. Pitcairn Island often evokes images of a romantic paradise. But beneath this facade lies a complex reality. The island's isolated community has developed unique social practices that can be jarring to outsiders. One such practice is the early onset of motherhood, which has become deeply ingrained in the island's culture over centuries of seclusion. Neville Tozen, a former pastor on Pitcairn, observed that many women become mothers between the ages of 12 and 15. This practice, while shocking to much of the world, is viewed as normal and even celebrated within the island community. It's a stark illustration of how isolation can shape cultural norms and expectations. The implications of early motherhood extend beyond cultural differences. Young mothers face increased health risks, educational challenges, and potential economic hardships. These issues are compounded by Pitcairn's limited resources and remoteness. Understanding these practices requires a nuanced look at how tradition, isolation, and community dynamics intertwine on this tiny island, creating a microcosm unlike any other in the modern world. The weekly window to the world. While Pitcairn's unique culture may surprise many, the island's physical isolation presents extraordinary challenges. Imagine your only connection to the outside world being a weekly boat ride. A journey so complex it rivals international space travel in its intricacy. Life on Pitcairn means no airport access. Reaching the island requires a 24-hour flight to Mangareva in French Polynesia, followed by a grueling boat journey that operates just once a week. This limited schedule doesn't just affect visitors. It shapes every aspect of life for Pitcairn's residents. The weekly supply ship isn't just a convenience. It's a lifeline. This vessel brings essential items like mail, food, and medical supplies. For islanders facing serious health issues, the journey to see a specialist in Tahiti becomes a logistical puzzle, requiring careful planning around the boat's schedule. Pitcairn's residents have developed unique strategies to cope with their isolated existence. They've honed skills in agriculture, animal husbandry, and fishing to maintain a stable food supply. Rainwater collection serves as a crucial source of fresh water. This self-reliance isn't just a lifestyle choice. It's a necessity born from their remote location and limited external resources. 48 Souls, the world's smallest nation. Imagine living in a nation where you could count the entire population on your fingers and toes. Welcome to Pitcairn Island, home to just 48 people, making it the smallest country in the world. In this tiny community, every absence has felt like a seismic shift. To grasp the scale, Picture a place with fewer inhabitants than your average school classroom. The entire population of Pitcairn could fit comfortably in a small movie theater, with plenty of seats to spare. This microscopic society faces unique challenges in maintaining essential functions. Residents often take on multiple roles, from government officials to healthcare providers, to keep their community running. Life on Pitcairn revolves around a close-knit social structure where everyone knows each other intimately. Privacy is a rare commodity in this city. The population spans four generations, with the oldest resident at 87 and the youngest just three years old. This familial closeness creates a strong support network, but it also means that personal disagreements can quickly escalate into community-wide issues. The delicate balance of relationships shapes every aspect of daily life on this remote island, where social dynamics play a crucial role in maintaining harmony and progress. Free land and paradise, a desperate plea. With such a small population, you might think Pitcairn would welcome newcomers with open arms. In fact, they're practically begging for new residents. The island is offering free land to anyone willing to make the move. But here's the kicker. Despite this seemingly irresistible offer, only one person has applied. What could possibly make people hesitate to claim their own slice of Pacific paradise? 
The answer lies in the unique challenges of settling on Pitcairn. While the idea of free land sounds enticing, potential residents face significant hurdles. The island's limited infrastructure means you'd need to be prepared to build your own home from scratch. There's also a steep learning curve in adapting to the island's self-sustaining lifestyle, which includes growing your own food and participating in community projects. Job opportunities are scarce, and any income you do earn might be difficult to save or invest due to limited banking services. Despite these obstacles, Pitcairn's government remains hopeful. They're promoting the opportunity to be part of a tight-knit community and the chance to shape the island's future. However, the island's economic sustainability remains a pressing concern. The Free Land Initiative is a bold move, but it's yet to be seen whether it can overcome the inherent challenges of attracting long-term residents to one of the world's most remote inhabited islands. Muni, Murda, and a new beginning. Pitcairn's challenges today pale in comparison to its tumultuous beginnings. Imagine a tropical paradise where mutiny, murder, and mayhem once reigned supreme. How did this remote island transform from a violent refuge for outlaws into the peaceful haven it is today? The story begins in 1787 with the HMS Bounty, a ship on a mission to transport breadfruit trees from Tahiti to the West Indies. But the crew, led by Fletcher Christian, mutinied against their harsh captain, William Bly. Seeking refuge, the mutineers and their Tahitian companions settled on Pitcairn Island, burning the bounty to avoid detection. Life on Pitcairn was far from idyllic. Violent conflicts erupted, fueled by ethnic tensions and an imbalance between men and women. Riots broke out as men fought over women, leading to a high mortality rate. Only a handful of the original mutineers survived these clashes, becoming the ancestors of today's Pitcairn population. From strict morality to island happy hour, from those chaotic beginnings, Pitcairn evolved into a place of strict moral order. But this isolated paradise has recently undergone another dramatic transformation. The island's century-old ban on alcohol has been lifted, ushering in an era that would make those pious ancestors raise their eyebrows and perhaps their glasses. For decades, Pitcairn Island maintained a rigid moral code. Dancing, public displays of affection, smoking, and drinking alcohol were all strictly prohibited. Residents adhered to conservative values, reflecting their unique historical and cultural background. However, times are changing on this remote rock in the Pacific. The relaxation of these rules, particularly regarding alcohol, has brought a new rhythm to island life. Residents and visitors no longer need special permits to buy, import, or consume alcohol. Cafes and bars have emerged, offering new spaces for socializing and relaxation. It's a significant departure from the days when a simple toast could lead to serious consequences. This shift marks a new chapter in Pitcairn's history. While it brings fresh opportunities for social interaction and potentially tourism, it also presents the challenge of maintaining the island's distinct identity. As Pitcairn adapts to these changes, the community must navigate the delicate balance between embracing new practices and preserving their unique heritage. Paradise at a price, the cost of island life. While Pitcairn grapples with cultural shifts, another challenge looms larger than life. Imagine paying triple for a loaf of bread or waiting months for basic supplies. This is the hidden reality of island life, where isolation breeds both freedom and hardship. Life on Pitcairn comes at a steep price. The islands only store stocks of limited range of goods, but at eye-watering costs. A recent report showed that a simple can of beans could cost up to $5 while a bag of rice might set you back $15. These prices stem from the infrequent supply boats that service the island, often arriving only once every three months. Electricity on Pitcairn is generated locally, powering the island's nine households. This self-sufficiency comes at a cost, with residents paying up to 70 cents per kilowatt hour, nearly five times the average rate in the United States. And when it comes to healthcare, the island's lone medical facility struggles to maintain supplies, often requiring expensive emergency airlifts for serious cases. Despite these challenges, Pitcairn's residents have adapted to their unique circumstances. They've become adept at long-term planning, stockpiling essentials during supply runs, 
Some have even started small-scale hydroponic operations to grow fresh vegetables year-round, helping to offset the scarcity of imported produce. This resourcefulness is a testament to their resilience, but it remains a constant balancing act between the allure of island life and the harsh realities of extreme isolation. Stance, coins, and survival. Pitcairn's quirky economy. Pitcairn's isolation forces its residents to be creative, but their most ingenious economic solution came from an unlikely place, their mailbox. For years, this tiny island supported itself through a quirky industry that's now facing extinction. What happens when your entire economy is based on something the world is leaving behind? Enter the world of Pitcairn's stamp and corn economy. This remote island has long relied on the sale of its unique postage stamps and commemorative coins to collectors worldwide. These tiny pieces of paper and metal, adorned with images of Pitcairn's history and wildlife, have been the lifeblood of the island's economy for decades. But in our digital age, where emails have replaced letters and cryptocurrencies are challenging traditional money, Pitcairn's philatelic fortune is under threat. The global decline in stand collecting and physical currency use poses a significant challenge to this island nation's primary income source. Pitcairn isn't alone in this struggle. Other micronations have faced similar challenges as their niche economic models become obsolete. Recognizing the need for change, Pitcairn's government is actively seeking to diversify its economy. They're turning to ecotourism, promoting the island's unique nature and culture and developing distinctive handicrafts for export. Treasures and tales, the allure of Pitcairn. As Pitcairn turns to tourism, it's tapping into a resource far more valuable than stamps or coins, its legends. What if the island's greatest treasury isn't buried gold, but the stories themselves? These tales of mutiny and hidden riches have captivated imaginations for centuries, but the truth behind them might surprise you. Pitcairn's treasure legends have become an integral part of its allure. Stories of vast hoards of gold, silver, and jewels hidden by the bounty mutineers where visiting sailors have circulated for decades. These tales paint a romantic picture of a remote paradise holding untold riches, waiting to be discovered by intrepid explorers. However, the reality of these treasure stories stands in stark contrast to the thrilling narratives. Despite numerous searches, no significant treasure has ever been found on the island. Yet, these legends continue to shape Pitcairn's appeal. The island's residents actively share and celebrate these stories, fostering a sense of mystery and intrigue that draws visitors from around the world. In this way, the legends themselves have become Pitcairn's true treasure, fueling curiosity and attracting those eager to explore the island's captivating history. A natural wonder, Pitcairn's ecological treasures. While Pitcairn's legends may not have yielded tangible treasures, the island harbors a different kind of wealth that's far more precious. What if I told you that one of Pitcairn's uninhabited islands is home to a biological gold mine so rare, it's recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. But this natural treasure faces an unexpected threat that's washing up on its shores by the millions. Henderson Island, part of the Pitcairn Archipelago, is a living testament to the power of isolation. This remote atoll hosts an ecosystem untouched by human development, with 10 unique plant species and 4 bird species found nowhere else on Earth. It's a snapshot of evolution in action, a natural laboratory that scientists are eager to study. But paradise is in peril. Despite its isolation, Henderson Island has become a magnet for ocean plastic. Millions of tons of debris wash up on its pristine beaches each year, threatening the delicate balance of this unique ecosystem. It's a stark reminder that even the most remote corners of our planet aren't immune to human impact. The Pitcairn community isn't standing idly by. They've established one of the world's largest marine reserves, spanning over 830,000 square kilometers. This vast protected area aims to safeguard coral reefs, rare fish species, and the broader marine ecosystem from exploitation and pollution. As we've seen, Pitcairn Island is more than just a remote speck in the Pacific. It's a microcosm of global challenges and human resilience. From environmental conservation to cultural preservation, Pitcairn struggles mirror those faced by communities worldwide. Yet its isolation offers unique solutions we can all learn from. In our hyperconnected world, 
places like Pitcairn remind us of the value of close-knit communities and sustainable living. They challenge us to consider what truly matters in life. As Pitcairn navigates its future, balancing tradition with progress, it offers valuable lessons in adaptability and perseverance. Now that we've explored this fascinating island, why not dive into another hidden world? Check out our video on the dark side of Vegas. They don't want you to see for more surprising revelations.